my name is Caitlin and some of you may, might know that after my last video Charles, my daddy's friend, said that I need to do a fast Fourier transform in my next video so I'm going to show you one. This fast Fourier transform form has been displayed in a bar graph and it's displaying my voice which this microphone here is listening to. Now I'm going to turn up a note so you can hear it but it's already playing. This note is called a sine wave. As you can see, as you could see, that the sine wave didn't have, didn't have many frequency bands. These bars are all frequency bands. Now I'm going to show you a note with more frequency bands. As you can see, as you could see, that the square wave had more frequency bands. Now I'm going to show you a triangular wave. As you see, as you could see, that the triangular wave didn't have didn't have many frequency bands either. Now I'm going to show you the same bar graph but the frequency bands are going to be a lot thinner so there's going to be a lot more of them. I'm going to change this 16 here to a 24, uh, a 64. Now I'm going to change this 20 down here to a 5. Now I'm going to save it. As you can see, that it's a lot thinner. Now I'm going to play you those notes again and show you what they look like. On the sine wave, you could see that it had a lot more, it had a lot more frequency bands at the bottom. show you a square wave again. Now I'm going to show you a triangular wave. As you As you can see, the, the triangular wave, even with lots of um, frequency bands, it still didn't have many.